Hey guys, welcome to my the part one of my hacking tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, insert tiles um, and change the palette. So when you want to insert a tile, you want to click this. And actually, I'm going to show you. Basically, I'm going to show you on advanced map. Let's put it this way. So we're in Pallet Town. Everything is laid up like this. You guys know that. I'm not going to go over the basics. So this is the block editor. This is for editing blocks. It's separated into several pallets. Um, I think pallets like 10 or maybe even like 7 change depending on what the tile set is. And I assume you guys know about tile sets. But um, so you want to change like a tree for instance uh... well first let's look at building tiles so let's say i want this rock here to be a tree so i'm just going to black it out and sometimes this will happen everything will scrunch up just exit it go back in um, so let's say i want this to be a tree so you basically just take this and you put it there so you can build it a tree basically see and um, see how I only have one side of a tree here so you press this X flip which flicks it flips it along the X axis and then you build it that way it takes some getting used to so you only really need half of things or even a quarter of things if they're perfectly symmetrical because you can also Y flip so if I wanted to right here go X flip and Y flip well let's just do Y flip for now and we can do this um, and all of a sudden I have a weird looking tree thing I can I can build and I can build upside down trees if I wanted to so now you just come down here and you place them in so that's why so that's why you only see like half of shit here because this is this is uh, the tiles that you can place this is what they're made up of and you see the different palettes, so this one's like the greens, the browns, the reds, the blues, um, like the sandy colors and some lighter blues. This is sandy colors with green, blue and yellow. Uh, some tile sets are just screwed up, but you don't, you're not, obviously not going to use those colors. So, stuff like this. Uh, this 12 is usually something kind of random depending but um so you're gonna want to build stuff um three minutes in um so you can build tiles either way but let's say I want to let's say change this this tree um well let's look at my hack real quick so let's just go file load room no um it's called Pokemon Blue Platinum for now. I can't think of another name. So here we have Twin Leaf Town, and you can clearly see I have changed the trees and the palette here. So this looks different. The trees look different colors. Stuff like that. Pokemon Center looks different because I have actually gone. I you go picture, save tile set one, and you save it. Um, I think I already have it saved here somewhere. File open. Uh, here I have it saved in the blue color. So if I and you can only use so now I can like insert, I can insert tiles I want. So let's say I don't like this thing, I can change that. Um, but you can only use the colors that are in this palette. That's why it's important to select and make sure you save it as the right palette you want. Um, let's see, so this is white because it's white, it's not green because there's only one green color here and that's along the bottom. Um, so that's how you do that. Uh, you change the palette by going palette, show palette editor, and you can go to here and you can just change it red, green, blue. Um, so that's that. Um, here, it's pretty interesting. I did that tile. It's awesome. Um, let's look at a. Uh, yeah, should know about that now. Have a pretty good idea. If you're not good at drawing them, you can always take 
tiles other people have made and make sure you recolor them to the to the um uh to the tiles you have uh here's a trick for recoloring with the left click like the one you always use select the color you want to change with the <clears throat> right click select the color you want it to turn into and then go to the eraser and hold down the right click and see I'm turning all the white color into that light blue that's a good trick for recoloring so <clears throat> let's look at this map connections um, this is for connecting maps wait I'm going to remove this one so you make map connections so that like you don't need a warp to go to them so if I go up like this it takes me to this route, go to the side. These are all connected. See, you can see I've connected all these routes and shit together so you don't have to go through a warp, you just step there. So that's what map connections are. Um, here you s offset, this is the left or the right. It's hard, basically it's a lot of trial and error, um, but just keep changing this number around. Negative is like, I, I really can't explain how it works. It's just a lot of typing random numbers in there and guessing how long you need to do it. Map bank and map numbers, obviously. Bank, number, so the Sand Gem Town is 3-1 for me. Zero out, uh, just don't touch that. So you can add them, remove them, save them, all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> that's about that. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Um... Oh, let's do this. Um, for example, this one, this is down and this is up. So by default, this will cover your character under the up, and what's under down will go underneath your character. But as you can see, when you step, when you, you should, I should have noticed this by now. But certain things like signs and stuff, you're always covering them, even though this is up and this is under down. That's because um, uh, that's because this down here. Background bite, behavior bite, these things do different things. Background bite, if you change this to 20, it, the block is covered by the hero. The entire block is under him. There's some things here. The only one that really makes sense to use is block covered by hero. Under here, there are some interesting ones, like only walking possible. So, like you can't run. Um, in there. I think that's on most of the indoor tiles, but I'm not sure. Uh, warp, um, under block, warp, uh, okay, so arrow down, warp under block. This means that if I, I would use that for, here I'll show you, I'd use that here. Verity Lake front. Um, oh, that's why I was like that. Okay, so, this right here, um, this block right here, this one, here I'll show you dude, here. This block right here has that warp under block because you put the warp you put the warp on it and then you warp when you go on when you walk under it. So little things like that. It's a lot of trial and error. Experiment with it. You'll uh you'll figure things out. Uh by the way, I got the showed you how long you're in. I will show anyone that if they ask. So yeah. Um this is that tutorial. If you want any more, let me know. So, I am out, guys. See you guys next time. I'll do some more scripting tutorials, so, see ya.